Hello and welcome to this video on the ST Mix or Stereo Mix from Bafaco. Let's check out what's to come before we dive into it. Now the ST Mix is a 6 HP Yoro Rack module with 5 stereo inputs that mix down to a stereo output. We have 4 stereo channels where we can plug in just a left signal which will normalise across and work as mono or a left and right and we have 4 of those channels with level controls. The fifth stereo input is an auxiliary input which sums together with the main four channels and this makes it easy to sum other stereo mixers or lots of ST mixes and take outs to ins and build up a bigger mixing interface. There's a cable that comes with ST mix allowing you to plug it into a hex mix giving you the five additional stereo inputs to a hex mix so you could have your six monos on your hex mix and five stereo ins as well plus the free auxiliary returns if you've got the hex bander building up a really big mixing interface between them. Of course works standalone so we'll check this out standalone mixing audio and it also processes DC signals sub audio modulation. So it can mix different LFOs, plug different waves into the left and right, say a mono envelope input and start to build up a stereo mixed modulating world that we take out to modulate various things. I think that's something we should all experiment more with, so we'll do that in the video. Standalone stereo mixer, CV mixer, expander for the hex mix, that's the video. This video is sponsored by Bafaco, so thank you to them for that. Skip around as you want, the timing index is on screen, but really it's those three patches. It's not a long video, so let's dive in. So I'm finding it really easy to create big stereo mixes with the ST Mix. I'll quickly play around, I've got an external keyboard playing the bass line. And going through the channels, I'm going to mute them on my sequencer first. Nice effects chain. Got my kick here, which is Kick All from Bafaco. Link in the description to check that one out. Because that's mono in, that normals across. That's up full. And then on this third channel down is the snare and the hi-hat, just from Pico Drums. And pulling this out for now, because they're sharing some of the same sequencing. The top channel here is a stereo bass line. My auxiliary back in. This is my pedal tone. This just pedals away. I've got a filter I can move. But this is playing off of the stereo bass line on channel one. So that's the auxiliary in, in stereo, with some effects, bass line, and then drums coming in. This is channel 4. Super simple, so mono kick, mono snare and hi-hat, mono little ratcheting pattern, stereo pedal tone with effects, stereo bass. 6 HP and it's simply bringing together two stereo sources and three mono sources. Really nice and easy and it sounds great. So here we're using the ST Mix as a CV mixer. Got two different LFOs, triangle and sine, and then saw and square, an envelope, some sample and hold, and another two LFOs coming in. This is the left hand and right hand shapes modulating this dual filter with different octaves of square waves coming in. This is of course in stereo, as is the rest of the video. Let's get some good headphones or speakers on and let's just listen to this nicely mixed CV modulation, opening these left and right panned filters. So turning things down, let's listen to each of these in isolation. 
The auxiliary in are two triangle LFOs that are just free running. They're quite attenuated already externally, and I've got them running through my mutes module. So there they are, muted. This is now static, there's no modulation. Turning up the first stereo input, we can see a sign shape and a triangle shape, two different inputs there on channel one. From the same LFO, which is right next to it, I'm taking the saw and square. So already, just mixing sine and triangle and square and saw, we get some interesting shaping. Triangle and saw on top, because they're the left ins, and sine and square on the bottom, they're the right ins. And then taking advantage of a left input summing in mono to both, here's an envelope. In time with this sample and hold sequence. Just stepped random. So this will move in time with this envelope. So even just mixing an envelope in mono and sample and hold in mono, they're in time with each other, gives a kind of random depth, a random accent to the envelope. And then as we start to get this to move and cycle differently, save a bit of the LFO. I'm going to unmute my auxiliary input again, those two free running triangles. We're starting to get some nice complex CV modulations. Let's mix in some saw square. So different bits of synced and related modulation, like these four LFOs from the same LFO, or four wave shapes from the same LFO, the envelope and the sample and hold being in time, and the aux in free running, creating a nice left and right modulation source, in this case for a dual filter. You can of course be creative and patch this kind of modulation anywhere around your system. So here's the back of the hex mix and we can see we've got the six pin shrouded header right at the top of the module there and this is where we plug in the provided six pin cable notice it's not 10 or 16 like your rack power six pin cable two rows of three and then we plug that into the six pin header on the st mix we don't then have to come out of st mix to go into hex mix it all just sums together and it becomes an expander So here's a big and quite ridiculous stereo mix with the hex mix and the stereo expander and me trying to use absolutely everything in a patch. So I'll walk you through what's going on here. And some external muting there. The stereo mix, as we've just shown, is coming in on the ribbon into the hex mix. I've got the hex spander. I've got my mutes plugged into the orgs out so I can mute some of my effects, whether they're coming back in or back out. We'll come to that. And I've just built up this huge mix. Now into the aux in on the ST mix is my granular loop. Now there's no volume control, so I've dealt with this externally. But on top of that, I've got a stereo effect coming in. It's the same sound processed with some octave up like granular shifts. I then have a big stereo reverb with some noise samples coming in. Let's mute this auxiliary in, the little chord kind of tone. When I move away from that section, when I'm jamming around, I've got a big detuned bass in stereo and some additional fading oscillators, fading differently in the left and right there. I then have kick, snare, kick and rim shot, slightly panned left, and I'm, I'm EQing this, I've EQed all the low out of this one. 
Strange little pitched up snare. Pan slightly right. Taking some of the EQ out on that as well. Noise source through a VCA with an envelope. Alternate envelope for the right hand side. So I'm using five and six there as hard left and right. So I can build up my beat. Add in that aux in, muting this again externally. Granular effects, background noise and effects. And build up this big mix. Now the effects and the expander, so going beyond the ST mix here, but I think it's interesting. And coming out into Crush Delay from Bafaco. I then have so much spring reverb. And then the third effect is a stereo delay reverb hybrid. It's the Mimeophone on the kick. And that's it for the ST mix. Check out the links in the description. Support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid. Hit like, leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Just watch him.